Hello everyone, we have here exponential equation. Three to the power of uh, x cubed minus x squared equals 27 to the power of 6. And in here we're solving for all the values of x. And before we start, for those new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much and now let's start solving. So 3 to the power of x cubed minus x squared equals 27 to the power of 6. From here, take a look at the base, 27 and 3. There's something in common. So that means uh, 27 can be turned into base 3. So that would be 3 cubed. Since 3 cubed is 27. So the equation now becomes 3 to the power of x cubed minus x squared equals 3 cubed to the power of 6. Equation now becomes 3 to the power of x cubed minus x squared equals 3 to the power of 3 and 6 are both exponents. So we multiply those. 3 times 6 is 18. So in here, from the exponent formula, that is a to the exponent m raised to exponent n is equal to a, a raised to exponent m times n multiplying the exponent a to the power of m times n now if you notice they both have the same base so from an exponent formula a raised to b equals a raised to c we have the same base we can conclude that the exponent must be the same so b equals to c so this is now x cubed minus x squared equals 18 so in here we're equating the exponent all right so from here the equation now turns out to be a cubic equation so we have to find the roots of x so we'll be having three roots of x so one way to uh, find the first root of x is by trial and error and uh, just uh, just plug in actually what the number is like plugging in positive or negative one positive two or negative two positive 3 and negative 3 and so on. So if we plug in 1 over here in place of x, it won't be 18 since uh, 1 cube is 1 minus 1 square is 1. So it won't do that. So if you plug in 2 as value of x, that will be 2 cubed minus 2 square. 2 cubed is 8 minus 4. It is not 18. How about 3? We plug in 3, 3 cubed minus 3 squared, 3 cubed is 27, and uh, 3 squared is 9, so 27 minus 9, so that's exactly 18. So that's how we found the first root of x, so we will be using 3 as the first root of x. So to find the other two roots of x, we will be factoring out x minus 3. So factoring out this one right here from the original equation so x minus 3 so from here and before we can factor that out actually we have to place this equation into its standard form so let's do it over here so this equation now becomes x cubed minus x squared minus 18 since we're transposing 18 to the left side it will become negative and if this is equal to zero. So from here to get the other factor of this equation so we can get the other two roots of x we'll be dividing the whole expression with this factor right here. So we'll be doing long division. We have here now x cubed minus x squared minus 18 divided by x minus 3. So let's start on here x cubed divided by x so we have x squared x squared times x x cubed x squared times 3 negative so minus x 3x squared and subtract that so this becomes cancel so this is now x squared minus 3x 3x squared and then since this is subtracting it so they will become this become positive so this now becomes 2x squared positive 3x squared minus x squared so 2x squared now bring down 18 
since that's negative so this is negative now 2x squared divided by x so this is positive then 2x so so 2x times x so that's 2x squared 2x times negative 3 so negative 6x subtract again so this cancel so this is now positive so 6x minus 18 now 6x divided by x so this is now this is positive so that is 6 6 times x 6x 6 times 3 negative so negative 18 and subtract that one so this is going to fill now remainder 0 and now we have this uh, quadratic polynomial expression so this is now x squared plus 2x plus 6 going back to our equation so this is another factor so we put down right here x minus 3 times this equals 0 so after factoring out x minus 3 by dividing x minus 3 from the original equation x cubed minus x squared minus 18 is equal to 0 from earlier now we found this other factor so now we need to find the other two roots of x from this expression right here so from here now we equate this factor to 0 so x squared plus 2x plus 6 equals to 0 from here Let's use the quadratic formula to, to get the roots of x so from the quadratic formula so x is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a and from here a is 1 b is 2 and c is 6 so we just plug in all those values to get the value of x so x is equal to minus b is b is 2 so minus 2 plus or minus square root of b squared so 2 squared minus 4ac where a is 1 and c is 6 all divided by 2 times a is 1 and from here if you notice the uh, the uh, the numbers or uh, numerical value inside that uh, radical sign right here square root sign where we we have here the negative part is bigger than the first part right here so this this is what we call actually the discriminant so we'll be having a negative discriminant so that means we'll be having an imaginary number for the complex value of x and so let's simplify so x now becomes negative 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared is 4 minus 6 times 4 is 24 divided by 2 and from here so this is now negative 2 plus or minus 4 minus 24 so square root of negative 20 divided by 2 and from here this can be written the same way as negative 2 plus or minus square root of so 20 we can split that one right there into 20 and is square root of negative 1 and from here i is actually a square root of negative one so we simplify that further and actually this is all divided by two so negative two plus or minus square root of 20 can be written the same way as uh, a square root of four times square root of five a square root of four is perfect square so so two square root of five two square root of five times square root of negative 1 is i so i times i divided by 2 so simplify this further we have now x is equal to we're factoring out we're factoring out 2 over here it seems divided by 2 so this is now negative 1 plus or minus square root of 5 times i 
So that's the value of x. So we have two roots. Since we have two roots of uh, 5 right there, positive negative, that includes the imaginary number. We have here the values of x now. The roots of x, you have negative 1 plus the square of 5 times i. And the second one is the negative root of this. So minus 1 or negative 1 minus the square root of 5 times i. And the third value is what we have found earlier is 3. So these are the values of x, the roots of x. So this is now our final answer. And if you know this from earlier, this is kind of a little shortcut right here, the square root of 20. And we went back to the final answer right away to 2 is square root of 5i. So this is square root of 20 can be written the same way as the square root of 5 and square root of 4. And since we have the i right there, negative neg square root of negative 1, that's i. Where i is the square root of negative 1. So this is now square root of 5 and square root of 4 is 2. So times i. So this ends up to 2 is square root of 5 times i. So that's how we arrived at this value right here. Okay, so 2, 5, 2, square root of 5 times i. All right. We have those three roots of x right there. Negative 1 plus square root of 5 times i. And second one is negative 1 minus square root of 5 times i. And 3, third root of x. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Hit that bell right there so you get notified whenever I upload new videos. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next videos. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.